This video is about current density resistivity with Ohm's law. All right. Now assume a wire through which assume a metal wire through which passes electron. All right. And these electrons have charge E and are moving in electric field intensity capital E and the electrons have mass small m and the average time between two successive collision is tau. All right. So this is the condition in which the electrons are moving. So electrons obviously strike, but direction of drift velocity does not change. It's in this direction only as it is moving in electric field intensity. All right. So this is what is about the metal wire through which passes current or electron. All right. Now let's get into a bit of formulae. We know acceleration is rate of change of velocity V over T. So obviously V would be taking it there AT. Now here since our time is tau, so we would be assuming it instead of AT, we would be calling it as A tau and this velocity would be our drift velocity. All right. So drift velocity would be equal to acceleration into tau. Fine. That's our equation one. Then we also know electric intensity E is equal to F over Q. Now here again, since it's electrons which are moving, so it would be F over E as we have electrons moving in the metal wire. All right. So again, if I take E towards that side, so F becomes force becomes E that is electric charge into electric intensity, electric, electric field intensity. So F is equal to charge of electron multiplied by electric field intensity capital E. We also know mechanical force is equal to mass into acceleration. All right. Now here, and we also know that if there is any charge, if there is, if, if the charge is moving in electric field intensity E, then the force that it would experience is E, E, small e into capital E. All right. So we know that. So here force is equal to MA in mechanical term, whereas in electrostatic term, it is E into capital E. So these are both the formulae for force, force mechanical and force electrostatic or electrical. All right. So E acceleration is again, I take mass below E over E. I take mass over this. So acceleration becomes E E over M. That's the new formula for acceleration that we derived. All right. So what all did we derive? We derived drift velocity, which was acceleration into tau, where tau was the average time between two successive collisions. And then we also derived, we, and we also know F is equal to E, e and F is equal to M A from that we derived from these two formulae, from these two formulae, we derived A is equal to E E over M. This is charge of electron. This is electric field intensity and this is mass of electron. All right. Now what do we do is we substitute this in this. So A we substitute over here. All right. On substitution of this over here, what we get is VD is equal to E E over small m into tau. In my earlier video, we have derived that VD that is drift velocity is equal to J over N E and formula for current density J is I over A where I is ampere for current and meter square for area. All right. And this has all also been proved earlier. Now, if we see this and this both equations are for drift velocity. So let's equilibrate. So we equilibrate these two equations and we take it in terms of electric 
field intensity. So the formula comes to this E is equal to m over E square n tau j where we know this is mass of electron, this is charge of electron, this is number of electron, this is the time gap average time between two successive collisions and j is current density. Now this is the formula which you really are going to focus in by heart it, understand it because it may be required for solving some of j or need physics numericals. All right. Okay. Now we also know the formula E is equal to V over L. So obviously if I take L that side, V is equal to E into L. All right. And V also is equal to IR as per Ohm's law. So when we equilibrate, we end up with this. And at the same time, we also know a formula for R, which is rho into L upon A. Why was it? That was because resistance is directly proportional to length of wire and inversely proportional to area of cross section of wire through which current is flowing in. And this is the proportionally constant resistivity. All right. So we just substituted that. Now this and this, let's check it out. L is common, so it gets cancelled. So what we are end up with this let's take a out there so it becomes i over a into rho now already mentioned that i over a is j that is current density j so it becomes j rho now if it is j rho for e then then we also have formula for E which we have derived already M divided by E square N tau into J. So J and J, so if we compare these two formula J, J gets cancelled. So rho gets the formula of this. So resistivity or rho is also equal to M upon E square N tau mass of electron charge of electron, number of electron and the average time between two successive collisions. All right. So this, this, this is also a formula. So all the formulas that we have got in this derivation are all very important because they can be used in numericals in any format. All right. So please focus into these formulae, understand them and behind them very well with understanding so that you don't have any problem while solving JE or need physics numericals. Alright? See you then.